Hi, this is Mel. I hope all of you are doing awesome. Today we're going to do a story. Now, this story title, I'm going to keep it the fate number three. So this is based on fate. Whatever is written in people's fate, they cannot change it regardless of how much money they make, how big they become or whatever they can achieve. So, um, there was a couple, I will just name them, Mr. and Mrs. Sarma, for the sake of their privacy, because this is based on a true story. Now, there was a couple named Mr. and Mrs. Sarma. They did not have any children, and they've been married for 10 years. All their relatives and friends and family all the time uh, talk to them about uh, getting some help and getting a baby or just adopting a baby and Mr. Sarma was a police officer and Mrs. Sarma was a housewife and they were extremely rich and they had properties and house and money everything from generations so they had a huge huge house in the neighborhood everybody knew them and they're a very good religious couple and then they used to go for a walk in the early morning Mrs. Sarma was a little bit of chubby type heavy so the doctor told her to take a walk daily that might help with her conceiving and since she didn't want to go alone so she took Mr. Sarma along with her and she was not going to bother any neighbors to just walk with her daily and it was good for him too so um, they used to walk early in the morning and uh, she was married early but since she didn't have kids for 10 years so she was around 30 years old and he was around 40 and that's usually the range in india for arranged marriages about 10 8 to 10 years difference which was long time ago though not now so then um they are going for their usual morning walk as they went for the morning walk they they saw that um, there was a lot of cry coming from a garbage can now in india um the garbage dumpsters are like in the road on the side and they just they make it a, like a um little like um a garbage pit you know all around walls and front is open and the top is open for the smell to escape and people just bring their garbage and dump in there and then it becomes huge and and usually what they dump is you know uh, food and vegetable peels and and ashes coal ashes from burning their coals and you know burning fire things like that for cooking so um, pretty much that stuff and sometimes people throw things like old furniture old things everything just goes in there so anyway out of that there was a baby cry coming and there were a lot of dog barking dogs were around so they were like very scared and they quickly went to see and they saw that they wrapped up a baby just like a newborn baby like somebody dropped it in the morning and and had a note saying that uh, uh, the mother cannot take care of the baby and she cannot keep the baby so she's just giving it away which was very sad but what they can do and mr sarma being the police officer he was the head of the police department so he took in the baby and then he did a little investigation in the neighborhood and nobody know knew about it and nobody was willing to talk about it so and then um uh, they just didn't do anything about it and since it's a baby and it's a newborn baby needs a place to stay baby needs food 
And so Mrs. Sarma just took the baby with open arms and then they thought that this was the God's blessing. They've been asking for it. Now it's in their doorstep. So they took the baby in and then they got all kinds of good things for the baby. Doctors, nurses, everything to make sure that the baby makes it and lives. And they bought a special sandalwood from far away and then they burn those woods and with that baby they burn the woods and then they um, give the warmth to the baby with oil massage from sandalwood burning warm and they just did everything in their power to take care of the baby and they used to love the baby very much and the baby started growing quickly and by the time the baby was um, two years old they named the baby Vima Vim uh, was the um, strongest person in Mahabharat so they named him Vim Vim everybody used to call him Vima Vima and um, this baby was like really spoiled because they loved him so much but funny thing happened that as mrs sarma was taking care of that baby and all the doctors told her that she was not going to ever become a mother there was problem of her filipino tube blockage and some other issues but luckily she became pregnant so as she became pregnant and then she delivered a baby nine months later and they named that baby Arjun and after the baby came Mrs. Sarma and Mr. Sarma became very much busy with that baby and forgot all about Vima so then as day went by, Bhima was very lonely and by the time Bhima was 8 years old, he became the most notorious boy uh, because every time he asked for something or he wanted something, Mr. and Mrs. Sarma just beat him up and they didn't want him anymore. And the so slowly, slowly he became very sad and his life became very bad and his father used to always beat him up and his mother also hated him and then by that time he was 14 he didn't even attend school because school everybody hated him and by the time he was 14 he became the most famous criminal of that area and everybody knew Vima so and he also created a gangster um, where he had all the bad people he joined with some thieves and robbers and they used to rob her but that was not all his mind was so much with hate and no love and Bhima also started investigating about his birth and later he found out that his actual birth mother was a prostitute who conceived uh, through her profession and she did not want to keep that baby to continue her profession as a prostitute so she just put Bhima on the dress and this is from a true story so then um and then along the way bhima committed several crimes murder crimes and he used to uh, kill people mercilessly so everybody knew in his name everybody used to be so scared in the neighborhood so as the day went by, everybody started growing up. And then Arjun, Bhima was no longer living with his parents because he was always hiding away from the police. And his father being in the biggest police officer, he couldn't live there. And he had committed few murders in the way. 
and very rude, senseless murders. This, the gruesome description of those killings were so chilling that nobody could thought the human being could do such disgusting crimes but Bhima did because he was mentally so disturbed because of his parents having another child and not wanting him anymore and this was um, a very disturbing thing for the neighborhood but then um, as Arjuna grew up and when he was only 20 years old, his parents chose to get him married with a 18-year-old beautiful girl. And the parents were extremely rich and the girl's parents were very rich too. It was like a few miles from the neighborhood. So Bhima's parents thought that um, if they get uh, Arjuna married, then there will be a new bride in the home. And the house was so big anyway, they will live happily. So um, Arjuna was going to get married and he got dressed up and they were going in the bus with the wedding bus to go marry the woman. And they are... Uh, um, Bhima's parents, daughter-in-law. So everybody was in the everybody was in the bus, and the bus was going. And Bhima and his friends they didn't know that it was Arjuna going to get married because he had no contact with those parents. And the time I'm talking about when there was no cell phone. Cell phone was um, not even invented. Nobody even thought about it probably. So then. As the bus going through the forest, the Vima's um, thief group, they drop a big tree in front of the bus and they got on in the bus. Now Vima doesn't know that his parents and his brother on that bus. So these thieves came and they're all wearing masks. And they started snatching all the things from all the women because everybody's wearing gold jewelry because it's wedding, everybody's going. And they knew it. This is a wedding bus going because wedding buses are and the cars are usually very well decorated. So at the snatch, snatch, keep snatching everything. And then... Um, uh, they came to Bhima's father, snatch his watch, ring, everything. And then they came to Bhima's mother and they were snatching everything from the mother. But mother was wearing two bangles which were extremely tight and they couldn't take them away. And these thieves were beyond anybody's wildest nightmare they were so evil so one of them decided to chop off Bhima's mother's hand and as they were trying to do that Bhima came running and stopped the thief and said no that is my mother and as he said that Bhima's mom pulled up the mask from Bhima's face and she said Bhima as she said Bhima uh, his dad was a police officer he already had a gun in his pocket and he wasn't using it because these thieves had big big guns big big rifles so he thought everybody in the bus will get killed if he pulled out his little gun but as everything went crazy they one of the boy wanted to chop off Bhima's mother's hand and Bhima stopped him. Bhima was the boss of the leader of that group. So he stopped and Bhima's mother pulled out Bhima's mask and said, Bhima and Bhima's father got up to see all these things happening and he pulled his trigger on Bhima from that little gun as soon as he pulled the trigger, the gun, the bullet went straight to Vima's chest and he died there instantly. And then fight broke off 
and everybody started shooting in all direction when it all ended there were nobody left in the bus alive except Bhima's mom and dad and couple of other old people everybody else including Arjuna and the new bride they were all dead and then when everything was said and done when Bhima's parents came back home to that empty home it was the most devastating thing Bhima's mom went crazy because on that bus not only she lost her two sons and the new bride the daughter she daughter-in-law and she lost everything everybody she had she started with no children and the astrologers and the doctors everybody said she could never have a child but anyway child was brought to her door but then she lost everything i wouldn't say that for the fate that she lost it but then i again have to say it yes for the fate but i think the most part why she lost everything because god had given her bhima it did not matter when bhima came from actually after long investigation the sheriff found out that bhima was born from a prostitute and his mother was a prostitute and father was also a big criminal so that's when the vima's blood was a bad blood because he came from such background but still he was a good boy in a sense but mr and mrs sarma actually first gave him everything and spoiled him and then took away everything to give it to arjun so then cultivated only hate in his mind instead of love but still at the end we see that uh, when someone in his group came to cut off his mom's hand for the gold bangles he literally came and stopped that person say no that is my mother even though the parents beat her him up regularly throw him out but still he loved them and he did not let anybody killed in the bus anybody kill his father or mother or anyone else in the bus because he had a um strict instruction when he found out there was his brother's um wedding bus told everybody not to kill anybody just take the golds and jewelries so but he did not know before he knew it once he was in the bus when the robbery is in the progress that time he found out that it was his mother and father and his step brother um who's getting married and coming from the wedding with the new bride with all the gold and jewelry so the story was very sad and after that mr and mrs sarma became so sad mr sarma quit his job took resignation he couldn't work anymore mrs sarma went crazy she just not mentally stable and they left everything and then they went to haridwar rishikesh to just do bhajan kirtan and stay in temple and leave everything so they gave away everything to their relatives and just left everything and went away because they couldn't bear to live in the house or even just function day to day because they literally lost everything so this was the story for today which is a true story so i decided to tell the story because it was in my mind for quite some time 
Thank you so much. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment and share. And I'll see you with many, many more. Bye bye. Good night. Sweet dreams.